If you have Ling Han, you 1000% have to try this because this is game changing. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower Fantasy. My name is Vince SG, and what's good with you? All right, my homie put me up on game on something last night, and I tried it, and it works amazing. So I'm going to put you up on game, and you have to try it if you have Ling Han. Now, before I tell you what that is, do me a favor. If you're new here, please sub to the channel and turn all notifications on so you don't miss a notification of upload or when I live stream. And also, after this video is over, head on over to my channel and check out some of the other videos that I've made for Tower Fantasy because I've made like a thousand of them so far and also follow me on all my socials especially twitter because youtube notifications are jank and i always upload my youtube videos over on my twitter so at tiktok instagram twitter i am just going to be at vsgn social i really would appreciate it and i usually follow people back on twitter and instagram all right so let's get right into this all right, so I'm not going to hold it back any longer. I'm just going to get right into it and tell you that you have to use this relic with Ling Han because it is absolutely amazing. It's called Alternate Destiny. I'm going to read it for you real quick. It says, generate a pocket dimension for eight seconds. Allied Wanderers gain immunity to hit stun in the dimension and HP will not drop below 20% from enemy attacks. Cooldown, 90 seconds. Leaving the dimension removes all buffs. Once you have spent eight seconds in the dimension, you cannot be buffed by it for 45 seconds. Listen, I got to tell you, I was doing solo joint ops in a 42 residence, which I'm going to tell you. The 42 Resonance build that I was using in just a second. It's absolutely amazing. I was soloing this with no healing weapon whatsoever. Just straight two defense weapons and Ling Han. And using Alternate Destiny was the key to this. Okay, so the first advancement I have of it. And definitely, if you have the ability to get all the advancements of this Alternate Destiny, do it. Because this is probably going to be like one of the best relics, if not the best relic for solo play. The first activation that I have, it says Allied Wanderers in the Dimension recovers 15% HP 8 seconds later. My second activation, Allied Units in the Dimension gain 25% Life Steal. I cannot tell you how good that is is on Ling Han when you use her skill, when you use her discharge, because if you're in there and you use both of her abilities in the alternate reality or alternate destiny, you gain back all your health. It is so good. All right, so third activation says allied wanderers in the dimension gain immunity to all control effects. Fourth, uh, increased frost damage. Now that's the part that my teammate, my homie was trying to tell me about is this frost damage because this is the only uh, relic I think that does something with frost. So increased frost damage by 2% if not deployed, unavailable in Apex Leagues. And then the five star, it says until the relic disappears, allied wanderers in the dimension double all lifesteal effects when HP drops to 40% or below. And that fifth star is so good. So if you have the ability to max out this alternate destiny, you should definitely do it. The other relic that I use is just going to be a Kuan shield. I have my Kuan shield all the way maxed out. And honestly, this is so life-saving. This Kuan shield all the way maxed out. It says, summon a droid and generate a shield for five seconds. The shield disappears after five seconds or being struck once. When it disappears, it knocks back nearby enemies, dealing damage equal to 100% of attack plus 50. If broken within one second of being created, the shield will stun enemies for two seconds, cool down 30 seconds. First activation, when the shield is broken, reduce speed of the attacker and nearby enemies by 35% for six seconds. Second activation, after the shield breaks or ends, increase final damage by 20% for 10 seconds. Third activation, after the shield breaks or ends, increase speed by 30% for 6 seconds. The fourth activation, reduce flame damage received by 1.5% even if not deployed. And then the fifth activation, when the shield breaks, gain a 5 second damage reflection effect, reflecting 0.6 times damage taken back at the attacker. So these two relics, is just they're just so good in solo play, especially when you're doing solo joint ops. All right, for this Fortitude Resonance build, I'm going to use Ling Han as my DPS damage weapon. We've got a two-star Meryl and then a one-star Saki for this build. It doesn't matter what the stars are. Well, I mean, I guess if you have better stars for each of the weapons, it's just going to be better. But I've got one on Ling Han, two on Meryl, and one on Saki. The Fortitude Resonance bonus, I'll read it, says, equip at least two defense-type weapons to activate, increase damage reduction by 20%, which is so good, shatter by 60% in aggro, excuse me, by 800%, applying your current weapon's elemental weak point to the target applying your current weapons elemental weak point to the target so they are going to be weak to you if you have all the same element and so you know my dps is ling han right now and whatever i fight in this is just going to be weak to frost and ling han's a super good dps unit in team play gain an additional 20 percent damage reduction so it doesn't really apply to solo but if you're doing this as, as a team play you're going to do a little bit better stuff there all right so uh for my weapon chips i'll just show you those really quick over on my marrow for this i use a two-piece saki and two-piece zero uh two-piece saki says when frost resonance gets triggered every three seconds deal frost damage equal to 65 percent of frost attack to enemies within a 10 meter radius and apply the ice 
frost effect inflict 5% slow effect that lasts for 3.5 seconds freeze target for 3 seconds after 3 stacks does not apply to bosses and increase frost damage taken by the target by 5% for 18 seconds this matrix effect is also active in the offhand slot but only the set with the highest star rating will take effect and then over on 0 of course because I am using the tank and I love shield upon using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon gain a shield equal to 150% of attack for 6 seconds and then over on my Ling Han this is what I'm using for Ling Han weapon chips we just have a straight DPS set 2 piece Samir and 2 piece Shiro 2 piece Shiro says increase both damage and shatter to targets with more than 50% HP by 19% for me because I have it kind of starred and then over on Shiro it says increase damage progressively by 1% upon hitting a target stack up to 10 times last 1.5 seconds and I can't tell you how hard this goes on Ling Han the Samir chipset and then over on <clears throat> and then over on my Saki I'm just going to go ahead and use a two piece zero there and then a two piece Samir so I just love the zero chipset man I, I can't say enough good things about zero chipset when you get that shield especially in solo play and even when you're not solo play you're playing with people and you want to be a really good tank the best tank that you can be having those shields really really helps out it protects you keeps you alive all right, so in the gameplay that you're watching right now, I did this last night just while playing around after it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'll have so much fun playing Tower Fantasy just solo, and I wanted to know if I could solo a joint op using uh, two defense weapons as Fortitude with no healers attached and see if I could stay alive. And I just remember my friend, Sinisteri, he was telling me that if you use alternate destiny you will get lifesteal and i was like i wonder how good the lifesteal is i mean if i have two tank weapons on i should be okay as far as not being able to die and then if i could just give myself heals back without having an actual support weapon and then have ling Han as dps it was just so good so my whole thing was when i did this joint operation fighting this shiron tiger thing in which there was one time where i was able to use ling Han's flying ability oh my god ling Han's flying ability is so good with this all right so this is what happened one time right and i did this completely by accident i didn't know i could do this so so, you know, in this joint operation with Shiron, when he starts running around and jumping up and those things are all in the sky, if you use her flight ability, you can, like, on purpose, I guess. I did it on accident. I'm not going to hold you. But I hit one of the little things, and it made him fall, and I was able to just bust him down with damage. Like, it was just so crazy. And then, so when you're attacking him, right, you... And I was using Meryl. Like, Meryl is good. I know people, like, really, really talk bad about Meryl, but for whatever reason, I love Meryl. Meryl was the first weapon that I wanted to get when I first started playing this game way back on PC when the first game first launched because I love swords and I love the design of Meryl's sword. And she has this one attack, one of her skills, where she just you just press the button and she starts doing just a bunch of attacks or whatever like that, and she gets this hyper armor. She doesn't take damage when she's doing this. Like, and I, I don't know. Maybe she does, and it was just jank, and I didn't take damage. I don't want to, like, misspeak or give you wrong information, but from my experience, when I was fighting she -Rom, when he was doing his stuff i would press triangle and she would do her mini sword attacks and i was taking zero damage from him and every time that he was going to do like his super attack i would either pop that or pop my kuan shield and then there were those times where i was low whenever i was low on health this is what i would do i would use the alternate destiny it has like a 90 second cooldown or something like that but whenever he was doing that i would use the alter destiny and then get my health back and i would make sure before i used alternate destiny I would use alternate destiny and make sure I at least had Ling Han's skill ready or I had her discharge. If you have her discharge ready while you use alternate destiny, you're going to get like a whole life bar back. You use her skill, you're going to get maybe about a half, maybe a little bit more than half of your life bar back. And it just brought me back to life so many times. I did this um, joint operation solo like nine times. I only failed it one time because I made a stupid mistake. But for the most part, whenever my health was getting low, I would hit the Kuan shield and I would be able to like fight him and not take any damage or I would hit the alternate destiny at certain times and just get my health back. This time that you're seeing right now was the last time that I did it and was the best run that I did because I had pretty much almost all my health at the end. I don't know, for whatever reason on this joint operation, um, he would hit me with something really strong, like right as he was about to die, and I would be super low, and I would still be alive, and I would do it, but I just wouldn't have like a really good health bar. So this run, for whatever reason, I had a good health bar. Maybe it was because I did increase my weapon chips a little bit. I think it's very important to have your weapon chips like super high or maxed out or as close to maxed out as possible, so you get just better stats. And also star those weapon chips too, so you can get better stats that way. But man, I gotta tell you, this was so much fun. It, I don't know. You're probably like thinking, why are you using Meryl? Why don't you use another tank weapon? Well, A, um, Ling Han's Awakening. It basically, when you awaken Ling Han, her second awakening, you 
whenever you use a frost weapon skill you get 350 weapon charge so you might see me using a lot of discharges back to back but this build wasn't really like specifically like meant to like do a bunch of discharges back to back but i was doing discharges back to back and that saki discharge is so powerful and another thing too which is really cool too and i don't think many people are really talking about this but when you have ling han and you use her discharge skill and you bring out the alabaster tiger bayou i think it's what it's called and that tiger comes down when the tiger comes down you're buffed you are buffed you are going to do crazy amounts of damage so that buff and i know this might be like a just a, a really like bad way to use the buff but man using that buff plus meryl's abilities it just takes chunks of health off that first boss i don't know if you want to go back and see and look again that first boss when i fought i destroyed that first boss with five health bars just using uh ling han's uh, discharge and then using meryl's attack just taking chunks off it and then when you do that with saki and using her discharge it's just chunks of health being knocked off these bosses and it was just so much fun because i love playing this game and i don't like to bother people a whole lot of times and play with people and then it's like whenever you do play the game you will run the risk of getting people that are with you and join ops that are just whales and you don't get Get to do anything at all you just have to sit there and just let them do it because they're going to take all the damage so i love playing this game solo for join ops now there are things that you got to do with the groups and stuff like that which is good which this build will be great for too but i specifically made this for the solo player playing tower fantasy doing those general match man and it was just it was just super fun man i don't know just try it out and let me know what you think down in the comments and if you have any like suggestions about what you think that can make this build better using these three weapons as far as weapon chips because i don't have every single weapon chip but if you know weapon chips that would work better i would love Love to hear that down in the comments and just let me know what you think about this gameplay in this build all right uh i think i rambled on a little bit too much i'm just gonna let the rest of the fight play if there's it is the rest of the fight i'm not sure if the video is over the video is over but i'll check you guys next time and uh peace out thanks for watching